So we're backstage at the Big Reunion Festival. I'm with the one and only, the legend that is Hannah Wants. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. You've had an exceptionally busy week this week, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I was in London last night, um, just off to Manchester now, and I finished the Big Reunion. And then, oh God, where am I tomorrow? Um, <laughs> Oh my God, that's a really good question. <laughs> oh, um, Stafford tomorrow, Keel. Okay, cool. yeah. So yeah, always busy as well. Um, I've got to say, it's been a mental year for you this year. Everything's kind of really took off, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, considering like things have kind of been progressively getting bigger the past two or three years, but yeah. this last year has literally been a dream complete, come true, so it's yeah. all good. And everything's taken off as well, like all your tracks. One that I am loving at the moment, I think. I've heard it played at least six times already since last weekend here, uh, obviously, is Rhymes. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Uh, Chris and I made that at the start of the summer, and it's something that we sat on for most of the summer, thinking that it wasn't really going to get a release because of yeah. the sample that we used. But thankfully, with the help of Annie Mac, we finally got the sample clear by Daft Punk. So super excited for the release and just glad that it's out there now. So. Okay. Um, and something that you're doing at the moment, I know, which is really big, uh, is a DJ competition that you've set off. Um, I've noticed as well, what is unique about you is obviously you are a DJ first and foremost. Yeah. Um, so what is special about this DJ competition? Do you want to tell us a bit rather than me rambling on about it? Um, just basically, I know how hard it is. I've been DJing for over 10 years now and I know how hard it is for DJs to kind of get out there, get a shot, an opportunity. So it's something that I've, I've been thinking about that it's my first headline UK tour next year. And it's just something that if I can give an opportunity a break to somebody who was like me a few years ago you know just a chance to get on the flyer you know get involved learn learn the back seat the, the backstage and things like that then that's what I want to do and I'm sure there'll be some really really amazing DJs that we haven't found yet that might or might not make tunes too you know and I just think you know we need to find it and and put it out there so that's what we're hoping to do anyway yeah well, it sounds wicked. I'm really excited to see what happens. Um, so talk us through, is there any more in the pipeline production-wise? Are you up to anything else or are you just mainly focusing? You've got a tour coming up as well next year. Obviously, that's part of it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll be, for the rest of the year, November, December, is just crazy gigs-wise. Yeah, um, yeah. gigs -wise. But then I'll be focusing back on production in the new year and I'll be working on some solo material, got some other collaborations lined up. So it's all in the pipeline for 2015 just to kind of mix it all up together. So, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and what would you say are like the two tunes in your sets at the moment are like your surefire tunes that everybody loves? I heard you play, and I've heard you play this quite a lot recently actually, the Justin Martin remix of Henry Crinkle. Yeah, you know what? I love that. And when I first yeah. heard it, I thought it was a bit mellow from, I didn't know if I was going to be able to put it in my sets, but I've been starting with it. It's a track that yeah. everybody loves. I love the vocal and it's an absolute genius production. So I've kind of been starting my sets off with that. So that's one. Yeah. And another one would be, it's called Andrew Diggs, The Ghost, and okay. never heard of him before, literally heard T. Williams play it in Amsterdam, robbed the idea off him, um, <laughs> went and got Standard. the track myself, <laughs> and it is just... It's just something that blows the room up. You need to go and listen to it. Okay. It's just it's yeah. something that it's just two d different bass drops, and it's just like it's one of the best tunes that I've heard in a club um, for quite a while. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. definitely want to check out. Go and do it. And you just played as well. You just come off stage. How was the big reunion uh, stage for you tonight? Loved it. Loved it. I like. I can't wait. Hopefully, I'm going to come back next year and play a little bit later. But obviously, due to playing other gigs, it's me and I've had to play a little bit early. But um, it's been good. The crowd's good. The venue's good. And I just. I wish I could stay and party for the yeah. weekend. You know. I've seen all them games and the food. I want to go and. Yeah. I want to go and like play and just you know have yeah. a wonder. It is absolutely mental outside as well because the crowd absolutely have it. Can I just point out as well? We've got matching headscarves on. That was You know what? I, I was going to put paisley on, but then it wouldn't have gone with the tartan. So it's a good <laughs> job I didn't. It's a good job. Anyway, thank you so much. Hannah once.